In this video, we're going to look at sorted sets. Sorted sets are very similar to sets that we saw in the previous video. The core difference is that sorted sets have a score associated with each member. And this is used to rank the members based on the score. And by default, it goes from the smallest score to the greatest. And this is really useful for things like leaderboards in games, for example. To add an item to a set, rather than using S add like we previously did, we use Z add. You then have the key of the set you want to create. We're going to create a leaderboard. And you then have the score. So we're going to go with one and then the value you want in your set. So let's go with Dave. So Dave is number one in our leaderboard. And you'll see there that we've added Dave to our leaderboard at number one. Let's go ahead and add some more people to our leaderboard. So Z add key leaderboard. And you can add multiple items at once. So let's go ahead and put number two. So Tim, let's do number three, Sarah. Number four, Pete. Number five, Kate. And then one thing to note about sorted sets is that the value has to be unique, but the score does not. So we can also have number five, we can also have Steve. So you can see here, we've got two people with a score of five and that's perfectly okay. If you want to list out the members of your sorted set, you have to use the Z range command, which takes the key of the set you want to have, so leaderboard, and it then takes the range to so the min and the max. In this case, we're gonna go zero to minus one, which will give us the entire range of our leaderboard. And we'll see all of them there. And if you want to have the members of your set with the scores, you can do that using the with scores option as well. And that will give you each member with their corresponding score. If you want to get the number of members within a sorted set, you can do that using the Z card command for cardinality and then passing in the key of your set. So there we go, Z card leaderboard gives us six. You can also do this with a range as well using the Z count function with the key as well. And then you pass in the min and the max. So if you wanna see the entirety of your set, you'll do minus infinity and plus infinity. And that'll give you six again. If you just wanted to see the members of your set that have a score between two values, again, you can just do one and four, for example, and that will give you all the members of your set that have a score between the min and the max value. I'm gonna go ahead and add someone else to our leaderboard just so I can show you how to remove them. So we'll add Luke with a score of one. So if we have a look at that entire set, we will see that Luke is here underneath Dave. To remove Luke, you simply use the ZREM command for remove, pass in the key of your set and then the member string. And that will go ahead and remove Luke from our set and you'll see that they are no longer in the set. The range command by default lists members with the score from the smallest to the highest. And you can reverse this using the ZREV range command. Again, you just pass in the key of the set you want to check and then the start and stop. So let's go zero and minus one. We'll also do with scores so we can see the scores there as well. And you'll see there that it's just reversed the set order around. You can also see the score for a specific member of the set with the Z score command, which takes the key of your set and then the member you want to check. So let's check what Pete's score is and you'll see we get back four there and Pete has a score of four there, as you can see. If you want to get the scores associated with multiple members, you can use the ZM score command, again, passing in the key of your set and then the members you want. So let's do Pete and Tim, and you'll see we get back four and two. You can also get the members of your set based on their score with the Z range by score command. Obviously this takes the key and then the min and the max. So if we wanted to get the members with a score between one and three, we can pass that in and we can see we get Dave, Tim and Sarah. You can also pass in the with scores option as well and see the scores for each member. Another nice thing you can do with sorted sets is you can increment the score of a specific member using the Z inc by command. So you pass in the key of your set and then the increment value. So let's go one, 
and let's increment Tim by one. And you'll see that we get back three. And if we have a look at our set, we will see that Tim now has three. If you want to decrement a score, there isn't a specific command to do that, but you can use the Z inc by command and just do minus one. And you'll see we get back two and we'll see now that Tim now has two rather than three. Another nice command is the ability to remove members of the set based on their score with the ZREM range by score command, which takes the leaderboard, the key of your set, and then the min and the max range. So in our set, if we want to get rid of users with a score of five, we just pass in five and five, and we'll see we get back an integer of two, which means that two users have been removed from our leaderboard. And if we have a look at the leaderboard, we can see that we no longer have Steve and Kate who had a score of five. That's all I'm gonna show you on the sorted set commands. I highly recommend you go check out the documentation because there are a lot more commands out there that you can use. Uh, one thing to note is that because sorted sets and sets are so similar, there are lots of functions that you can do on both, such as the zdiff, Z diff store, Z intersection, and Z intersection store. They're obviously both shared between. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel.